Hello, boys and girls and ladies and gents and germs and berms. This is me, Pandora Me, back at you with a set of nails. Today, we're going to be doing St. Patrick's Day with the Mountain Girls. And Poppy, of course. We cannot do anything without Poppy. Did you say germs or sperms? Germs. Okay. Who knows with me today? I'm half asleep, so bear with me. I'm going to do the best I can on these. I did some practice ones. They turned out fairly decent. Not like I was an expert at doing what I was doing. I am not an expert. Even if I had a license, I still would do things the way I do them. Because I'm not an expert at it. Just because you got a license don't mean you can do all those fancy things like everybody else does takes years of practice and talent. I have no practice and I have no talent. Oh, I'm a little blurry here. Nope. So. I don't see what a license makes. Because it's just a piece of paper that says you have gone to classes. I can do just about the same thing as everybody else can. Except for acrylic because I cannot do the monomer. I cannot be around the monomer. So, I can work magic with gel. One of these days I think I might show you that. I can, I got a couple people that can be testimony for that. One of them is Jana. That I am pretty good with that gel stuff. Hard gel, poly gel. I'm fairly good with it. Yes, you are. But the acrylic, like I said, I can't do the monomer. Oh, it stops my breathing. And that's not good. So, I can't take the classes because they work in acrylic. Mostly. So, I can't get licensed. Which I think is stupid. But, here and there, that's not, you know, I can do these things on the side. And I just enjoy doing it. I enjoy doing the artwork. These are the, I got these here that I practice on. And this is what I'm going to try to recreate. I saw on somebody's, but I couldn't find out who it was. But I'm going to do a little extra to it. Good try. Okay, I'm I'm gonna be a bad girl and only do one coat. Because I'm trying to do this as quick as possible so I can get to bed. Okay. We start off with the little square part of it. We go straight down the center. And then we French tip it. See, just like that. And then we fill it in. Maybe I'll fill in the small spots with a brush. And a little detailing brush. One, this ain't the order they're going to go in when I'm done. And I'm going to do this one up. Oh. Well, down center. Wow, center ain't doing there, is it? And we got little rats fighting, mommies. I don't know what they're having disagreement over. 
but they are having a little dis they're having a disagreement and my dog wants to hone in on it because they're rats I hope you can see this Fly up. Down center. Around. Uh, see, I do such a perfect job on practice. But then when it comes down to it. Okay. Down center. Square it up and French dip it. Stupid fly. Gotta have one fly in the house. And it's gotta be here bugging me. Of course. I'm amazed my cat's not out here bugging me. But she got food, so... I need a little more green down. Is this the right green? Nope. <clears throat> I did a set for a friend of mine, St. Patty's Day. All different nails. And then I thought I'd try this. Because I want to do a nice, delicate set for her. Not a crazy one. Two. Come on, guys. Leave me alone. I'm amazed my cat's not out here. Because usually when she knows that I'm working on something, she wants to be right out here watching. I'm getting into it. And I'm going to shine some light on the subjects here. I burned up my battery a little faster, but... Oh, well. I got all night to charge it. Okay. They look just about even. Put them in, nuke them for 60. Clean my brush off. Put my brush up. I like keeping things clean and put up when I'm done with them. I'm gonna show you the nails I did for a friend of mine. I did two sets for her. This is her St. Patty set. And this is just for fun. So I can get them down here to show. There. Press on for her. Because she can't go to the salon. She don't have the time. Between her job and everything else she does and her kids. She don't have time. <clears throat> okay, now we do the liner. We go down the middle, square it over, and angle it up like I'm French dipping her. Polish. Do a smile line all the way up. That's one. Like I said, this is going to be a quickie because I've been I put the main coat on. Then we'll go to center line. Go down, square it off, 
Round it up. Oop. Took my Volcom off. Then I'm going to run the line down, straight through the center. I learned how to use the liner brush and I love it. Okay. <laughs> gonna flip them over so they can get all nasty. And I'm gonna put them in for 60. Then I'm gonna check to see how they look and might make the dark black line a little darker. I'm going to take my little dotting tool and put three little dots on the center line. Oh, shoot. Shoot. <laughs> Didn't hear me say that. Poppy, hush up. Poppy. I do a 60 even on the lines that way. I know everything's cured good. Oh, I went off center a little bit. Oh well, and I like that line. So now, I'm gonna take the big end of the dot tool and I'm gonna try to center this. Then I'm going to take the little end and put two little dots on it. Just two little dots. Clean them off. I clean my stuff as I go because I don't like it all nasty. Put it back. Put it on for 60, and I'm going to do these little stickers. I'm going to put a four leaf clover on each one of them. I got these stickers in a glitz box a long time ago. I got another set of them that's Jonas, but I don't know exactly where they are. And I'm gonna put a different one on the other one. Just to show off a little difference. Okay, come on. Good little sticker. And these are for mountain girls. need to get these done because I want to have them done for St. Patrick's. I got so many doctor's appointments. Now all that's left is to top coat them. And that's what I'm going to do right now is top coat these little puppies. Make sure the stickers are down on there. And I'm going to top gloss them. Nope. Yep. That's all I'm going to do. I was going to do something else but I don't feel like fighting with the foil. I did that on my friend's nail, and I tell you what, that foil, oh, like it gave me a hard time. I sneezed once, and all the ones I had chopped up, ready to go on there, blew away, and then it stuck to me, and it was just an awful mess. But I finally mastered it, got it all done. This one's got a hair in it, I can see it every so often. I might put my top coat on a little sick, but I'd rather have it sick than thin. 
and the top coat don't seem to wrinkle. But I do rape a lot of it off. As I go over it again, just making sure that everything's copacetic and everything's covered. Mm, I'm sighting on the frame here, ain't I? There we go. There's the set done. There will be pictures at the end. Thank you very much for sticking with me. Talk to you later. Have a good St. Patrick's. Enjoy the corned beef and, man and boiled potatoes and boiled cabbage. Everybody kiss the Longy Stone. Have green beer on me. Here we go in the nuker. Pretty bad when you gotta yell over the dog. Poppy, shut up. I'm gonna put a muzzle on you or put a bark collar on you. And that, that is a done set and we will have video, we will have pictures of it at the end. Okay, we got 36 seconds. So what are we going to talk about 36 seconds? Life. Life can be summed up in 36, 28 seconds. It's good if you put good into it. It's bad if you put bad into it. So if you want a good life, put good vibes out there and good things into life. Keep my friend in your prayers. Yes, family. Yeah, John has got a friend of hers that they're not giving much time have prayers for the family that they can deal with the passing of their brother, son, and on and on. While you guys have a beautiful night, there's the finished set, and we'll see you later. Peace out.